Gigi. Easy way. Facilement. Bisouvoula. Talk, read, write in English. Parle, lire et écrire en anglais. Tahadat wa iqra wa uktu bil ingliziya. So fast. Si rapidement. Rubisora. Learn with Gigi is the best way to learn. So, be with us and subscribe. An Extraordinary Lady Many years ago, back in the 70s, when I was young, there used to be a Polish lady called Mrs. Jankowski, who lived in one of the flats in our building. Her husband died many years ago and she lived with her cat Misty. Everyone in the building liked her a lot and she liked them. For the past few years, as she was getting older, people in the building helped her as much as they could. Some neighbors used to get her medicines gave her a lift in their car when she had a doctor's appointment. My mother liked to visit her frequently and take her some homemade biscuits, cakes and peas. Others came and brought her books, did some shopping for her and invite her to have Sunday lunch with their family. She had a nice comfortable flat which she was proud of. Many years ago, back in the 70s, when I was young, her, there used to be a Polish lady called Mrs. Jankowski, who lived in one of the flats in our building. Her husband died many years ago, and she lived with her cat Misty. Everyone in the building liked her a lot, and she liked them. For the past few years, as she was getting older, people in the building helped her as much as they could. Some neighbors used to get her medicines, gave her a lift in their car when she had a doctor's appointment. My mother liked to visit her frequently and take her some homemade biscuits, cake and peas. Others came and brought her books, did some shopping for her and invited her to have Sunday lunch with their family. She had a nice comfortable flat which she was very proud of. Many years ago, back in the 70s, when I was young, there used to be a Polish lady called Mrs. Cheng Whiskey, who lived in one of the flats in our welding. Many years ago, Back in the 70s, when I was young, there used to be a Polish lady called Mrs. Jankowski, who lived in one of the flats in our building. Her husband died many years ago, and she lived with her cat, Misty. Everyone in the building liked her a lot, and she liked them. For the past few years, as she was getting older, people in the building helped her as much as they could. Her husband died many years ago, and she lived with her cat, Misty. Everyone in the building liked her a lot and she liked them. For the past few years, as she was getting older, people in the building helped her as much as they could.
Some neighbors used to get her medicines, gave her a lift in their car. When she had a doctor's appointment, my mother liked to visit her frequently and take her some take her some homemade biscuits, cakes, and peas. Some neighbors used to get her medicines and gave her and gave her a lift in their car when she had a doctor appointment. My mother liked to visit her frequently and take her some homemade biscuits, cakes and peas. Others came and brought her books, did some shopping for her and invite her to have Sunday lunch with their family. She had a nice comfortable flat which she was very proud of. Others came and brought her books, did some shopping for her and invite her to have Sunday lunch with their family. She had a nice, comfortable flat, which she was very proud of. Many years ago, Back in the 70s, when I was young, there used to be a Polish lady called Mrs. Jankowski, who lived in one of the flats in our building. Her husband died many years ago, and she lived with her cat, Misty. Everyone in the building liked her a lot, and she liked them. For the past few years, as she was getting older, People in the building helped her as much as they could. Some neighbors used to get her medicines, gave her a lift in their car when she had a doctor's appointment. My mother liked to visit her frequently and take her some homemade biscuits, cakes and cheese. Others came and brought her books, did some shopping for her and invite her to have Sunday lunch with their family. She had a nice comfortable flat which she was proud of. Many years ago, back in the 70s when I was young, her, there used to be a Polish lady called Mrs. Jankowski who lived in one of the flats in our building. Her husband died many years ago and she lived with her cat Misty. Everyone in the building liked her a lot and she liked them. For the past few years, as she was getting older, people in the building helped her as much as they could. Some neighbors used to get her medicines, gave her a lift in their car when she had a doctor's appointment. My mother liked to visit her frequently and take her some homemade biscuits, cake and peas. Others came and brought her books, did some shopping for her and invited her to have Sunday lunch with their family. She had a nice comfortable flat which she was very proud of. Although she had been living in the UK for nearly 40 years, she still had strong attachment to her native country, Poland. You could sense this through the way she decorated her flats. As a child and until I got married, I used to like visiting her to keep her company, play with Misty and to listen to her stories about her childhood in Poland. She was a good storyteller. I visit Mrs. G whenever I go over to visit my parents. 
She is like family to me, and I love her dearly. My mother called me a few days ago to tell me that Mrs. G had a visitor for the first time from Poland, and to my utter surprise, she also told to me that it was her twin tw sister. Although she had been living in the UK for nearly forty years, she still had a strong attachment to her native country, Poland. You could sense this through the way she decorated her flat. As a child, and until I got married, I used to like visiting her to keep her company, play with Miss Misty, and to listen to her stories about her childhood in Poland. She was a good storyteller. I vi I visit. Mrs. J. Whenever I go over to visit my parents, she is like family to me, and I love her dearly. My mother called me a few days ago to tell me that Mrs. J. had a visitor for the first time from Poland, and to my utter surprise, she also told told to me that it was her twin sister. Although she had been living in the UK for nearly forty years, she still had a strong attachment to her native country, Poland. Although she had been living in the UK for nearly forty years, she still had a strong attachment to her native country, Poland. You could sense this through the way she decorated her flat. As a child, and I, until I got married, I used to like visiting her to keep her company, played with Misty, and to listen to her stories about her childhood in Poland. You could sense this through the way she decorated her. Flat as a child, and until I got married, I used to like visiting her to keep her company, play with Misty, and to listen to her stories about her childhood in Poland. She was a a good storyteller. I visit Mrs. J whenever I go over to visit my parents. She is like family to me, and I like I love her dearly. She was a good storyteller. I visit Mrs. J whenever I go over to visit my parents. She is like family to me, and I love her dearly. My mother called me a few days ago to tell me that Mrs. J had a visitor for the first time from Poland, and to my utter surprise, she also told to me that it was her twin sister. My mother called me a few days ago to tell me that Mrs. J had a visitor for the first time from Poland, and to my utter surprise, she also told to me that it was her twin sister. Although. She had been living in the UK for nearly forty years. She still had strong attachment to her native country, Poland. You could sense this through the way she decorated her flats. As a child, 
and until I got married, I used to like visiting her to keep her company, play with Misty, and to listen to her stories about her childhood in Poland. She was a good storyteller. I visit Mrs. G whenever I go over to visit my parents. She is like family to me, and I love her dearly. My mother called me a few days ago to tell me that Mrs. G had a visitor for the first time from Poland, and to my utter surprise, she also told to me that it was her twin tw sister. Although she had been living in the UK for nearly forty years, she still had a strong attachment to her native country, Poland. You could sense this through the way she decorated her flats. As a child, and until I got married, I used to like visiting her to keep her company, play with Miss Misty, and to listen to her stories about her childhood in Poland. She was a good storyteller. I vi I visit. Mrs. J. Whenever I go over to visit my parents, she is like family to me, and I love her dearly. My mother called me a few days ago to tell me that Mrs. J. had a visitor for the first time from Poland, and to my utter surprise, she also told told to me that it was her twin sister.